Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zarfa Playbook, sitting next to the fantasy guru, Tyler Merkovich, and he's bringing you his top 10 wide receivers for the upcoming fantasy football league season. Who are you going to go with? And these, these guys, man the flanks, they catch the football, they score points, lots of yards. Who's number one on your wide receiver list? And it better be Urban Fryer. <laughs> I think it's a big year for uh, wide receivers. I think you need one of the top 12 guys because the ball is getting spread around like crazy. But of course, Andre Johnson, number one, 101 receptions, over 1,500 yards receiving, only um, nine touchdowns, which is surprising. And this guy um, never had a double-digit touchdown season. He needs one just for his sake. Um, what concerns me is a lack of a number two. And uh, since Owen Daniels was injured in week eight, his numbers skyrocketed, including three 100-yard games and back-to-back 190-plus yard games. And he really feasted on Tennessee, Jacksonville, and Seattle last year, who were really poor against the pass. This year, he plays the AFC West, NFC East, and I'm pretty sure that you could throw against the NFC East. I think they're a run defense oriented teams in that division, but he's gonna play the Jets and Baltimore, and when he plays the Jets, it's gonna be Revis versus Andre Johnson again, and I'm gonna like to see that matchup this year. I may end up in a fight between two physical guys, <laughs> so number two on your list, who you have? Well, Randy Moss. Um, Quiet year last year, it seemed like, right? But over 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. So he put together a nice year. He's got the AFC North, NFC North, and uh, San Diego and Indianapolis. And I think the young he's got young tight ends, which is a concern. He doesn't have Ben Watson, but maybe those guys could step up. And Wes Welker was injured. Julian Edelman will step up. I'm keep saying it. Taylor Price can be the guy that's going to keep the attention off Moss. Straight cash, homie. Number three on your list. Who you got? Well, Mr. Consistency is Reggie Wayne. 100 yard reception. Year last year, over 1,200 yards receiving, 10 touchdowns. He's going to go into the AFC West and NFC East. Um, two team, two divisions. I believe you could throw on and Cincinnati and New England. And they're going to bring back Anthony Gonzalez. But Anthony Gonzalez will fight with Austin Collie, so don't be worried. This guy playing across Garcon, which I love, and Dallas Clark, another miss of consistency. And the run game maybe concerns me. They'll run the game a little more, but Wayne, Mr. Consistency, Tate Manning, top three wide receiver. See, I'll put Reggie Wayne number one on the strength that he's from New Orleans. Number four on your list, who you got? Uh, gotta be uh, Calvin Johnson right here. Megatron, uh, you know, this is a surprising pick. But uh, he had a real down year last year, only 984 yards, of course, uh, five touchdowns, but that's with Stafford. He was a rookie, now he's a second year. They play NFC East and AFC East and St. Louis and Tampa Bay. So those two teams you could carve up. And I think even if Stafford forces the rock to him, that's better for fantasy owners because Stafford's interceptions will, won't hurt you. And they really help the offense out. They address the offense, they draft best, they add Burleson and Scheffler. And uh, development of Pettigrew, who was injured last year, and he's coming on to his second year. So that gives him two tight ends. So Calvin Johnson can put up the numbers this year. Yeah, he definitely will put up a lot. He's a big physical wide receiver. Fourth on your, fifth on your list. Roddy White. 85 receptions. He's been Mr. Reliable. Matt Ryan loves him, of course. 1,150 yards plus 11 TDs right here. 164 targets. That's unbelievable. That probably leads the league. He's a target machine. Jenkins, um, he struggled last year, but they got uh, Douglas, Douglas back, and that'll help him, but he's not a red zone threat. So the touchdown's going to the wide receiver. It's going to go to him. Tony Gonzalez, of course, is a threat to take away from him. Kerry Meyer, I think, in years to come, this guy could be a big fan, a possession guy. But Roddy White, for now, Mr. Reliable, Mr. Consistent, Matt Ryan loves him. Wow, Reliable and Consistent, Roddy White, maybe with Matt Ryan, because before Matt, Matt Ryan, Ryder White couldn't catch a cold, butt naked, laying on the snow, in and out. Hey, the, it's all part of the game. Ryan stays healthy, stays upright. He's going to keep throwing the ball to Roddy. I'm just saying. Number six. Roddy, 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 Roddy. Larry Fitzgerald. And this guy, of course, the um, the loss of Warner doesn't hurt anybody more but him. So the QB situation is killing him here. Otherwise, of course, him and Andre Johnson are Mr. 1A and 1B as best receivers in the game. And I don't think a Bolden will hurt him as much because I have faith in Doucette and Breston. And I think they'll be more run-oriented, too, without Warner, Liner. I think if Derek Anderson gets in there, Fitzgerald, might, his numbers might get up. But over 1,000 yards last year, 13 touchdowns. 
So uh, this guy, he can do it all. I think Fitzgerald should be higher on this on the strength that he has dreads. Anytime you have dreads as <laughs> wide receiver, you have to be higher on this. I love your fancy <laughs> antidote. Seventh on your list. Looks to Sean Jackson. Unbelievable. Uh, he can take it, to, uh, take it the distance on any short pass. Even special teams, he does it. My question is, um, can Cobb throw the deep ball? And he's going to use Selleck a lot in the red zone. He loved them. And breakout from Macklin. Avant should be used. But uh, he's great fit in the West Coast system. He's small and the size might uh, be an issue also. This is why I have him seventh. Otherwise, I'd have him higher. All over 1,150 yards, nine touchdowns. But if he stays healthy, then Sean Jackson definitely top 10 pick. Yeah, I like Deshaun Jackson. Part of me wish he would have played in the era with the Houston Oilers running shoot. I think he would have thrived in that <laughs> Absolutely. offense. Absolutely. Eighth on your list. Well, Miles Austin, 81 receptions, 1320 receiving, 11 touchdowns, of course, Problem is here is that Des Bryant, they draft, and I think Jason Witten, his goal is to score more touchdowns, and I think he might take some touchdowns away from Austin. He's not really the big target. He's a run after catch guy, maybe the best running catch guy. Him and Deshaun Jackson, the best yak guys. Um, he's Tony's target, of course, but like I said before, with more weapons, even Williams is the third guy now. See, so they play the NFC North, AFC South. Uh, Austin's got to be in your top 10, but I don't have him in the top 5 for that reason, Whitman and more weapons. I have nothing else to say about Austin. I, I can't find nothing to say about Austin. He's still got to progress as a receiver. I can't even find a funny anecdote to say. <laughs> but uh, he's a solid target, though. Really, really solid player. Ninth on your list. Well, this is a sh pretty shaky pick, but Brandon Marshall. Chad Henney's number one weapon in Miami now. Of course, um, He's another young QB that'll probably force it to him, but you know Brandon Marshall's gonna want the rock. He's gonna get a lot of receptions, over 100 receptions last year, of course, 11, 20, 10 touchdowns, and I think they have an underrated uh, best and heart line across from him, and Fasano. So for yardage purposes, I think Marshall will get there, and I think he, he'll get a brown seven to nine touchdowns. If Tupac was alive, I believe he liked Brandon Marshall. I think that'd be his top <laughs> wide receiver. It seems like he's no Tupac personally. Tenth on your list, who you have? Well, this, I had to edge out two other guys, Vincent Jackson and Marcus Colson. Vincent Jackson because his three game suspension. Marcus Colson, uh, Breeze likes to spread around the ball and injury concerns too. Last year's the first year he went injury free, I believe. So it's Sydney Rice, Minnesota. Um, he plays the NFC East and AFC North, New Orleans and Arizona. But with Barry and emerging, um, question marks there. But Harvin's health, that's a big concern to me. Mm -hmm. Shanko breakout. Gerhard might be in the red zone with Peterson more, but still Rice got to be in your top 10, over 1,300 yards, eight touchdowns, the number one receiver in Minnesota. So no Stanley Morgan, no Tim Brown, no Harold Carmichael. I'm no, just saying. Mike Sherrard, rarely been. Mike Sherrard, that's a good one. I like that. I'm not, all right, <laughs> Mike Sherrard. To check out more of Tyler's fantasy football videos, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan, or you can check our website at footballgameplan.com slash fantasy.